Mm. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tanks Cooks. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tanks Cooks. It's time, it's time, it's time once again for Tanks Cooks. Ribs on the grill, ribs on the grill, ribs on the grill, ribs on the grill, ribs on the grill. Yes, that's right, we're making ribs on the grill. But you know what? It's a two-step process, two-day process. So what we're doing tonight is we're making the dry rub, and we're going to let the dry rub uh, soak into the meat overnight in the fridge. So we'll open up this nice little package of baby back ribs. Baby back, baby back, I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. All right, so we get the baby back ribs, and we'll be making a dry rub for them. We're gonna be putting on top of it, we're gonna be uh, putting in uh, just a little brown sugar. Let me get a spoon out. Get a spoon, put some brown sugar in this. Now, this thing is supposed to keep that from happening. It didn't keep my brown sugar soft. That's terrible, what the hell? Come on, brown sugar. Here it is. There it is. All right, there's our brown sugar. All right, what we're gonna do is, they want to, they say we should use a coarse salt, so I'm gonna use some of this coarse salt. La, 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 la. Coarse salt. Do some of this tarragon. Just turn it up a little bit. And then of course, you know, I gotta put my accent in there. Come on. No rub could be complete without the accent. We're gonna put some garlic powder in here. Uh, some Montreal seasoning. We're gonna put a little uh, smoked paprika in here. A little cinnamon, cinnamon, a little more cinnamon than I expected. We're gonna do a little Nihilus pepper. All right, we're gonna put a little uh, ground cumin. Dry rub the ribs, dry rub on the ribs. We got some of this uh, uh, habanero spice. I mean, we're gonna really spice these ribs up. Da -da -da. And some chili powder, of course. Ooh, I've got uh, a little black pepper too. Ooh. Black pepper. And then we're gonna mix this around in the bowl, and turn it around in the bowl, spinning it around in the bowl, da 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 da, spinning it around in the bowl. Oh, oh, oh. All right. And then what we do is we're gonna put it on the ribs, da, 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 da. and then we're gonna rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. Is that what they call it a rub? It's for rubbing it in the right ribs. Rub it again, the rub. Do it on the back too. Rub it in, rub it in. Rub it in, rub it in. Rub it in, rub it in. Then we're gonna put this in the foil and we're gonna put this in the fridge overnight. And tomorrow we're gonna cook this on the grill and it's gonna certainly thrill. Rub it in, rub it in. Are you ready to go down? 
to see those in a minute. All right, yesterday, put the dry rib rub. All right, yesterday, we put the dry rub on the ribs. Now, today, we're going to grill. Now, you grill ribs, you have to grill them slowly and low. So what we're going to do is we're going to first get the grill on. There it is. And we want a clean grill. I got this grill daddy. Now, it would be nice if the grill daddy actually worked. It's supposed to, like, put water on the grill and keep it clean with steam. But does it? No, because it leaks all over the place. There is no steam. Although it is cleaning a little bit. It's too bad that all the, the water leaked everywhere, and it could clean even better. But no, look at this. I mean, how does this thing work? It just leaks. Grill Daddy, you fucking suck. These Kona mats. Now, the thing we don't want, I usually like cooking with flare-ups, but I don't want flare-ups on my ribs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna lower the heat. You so you want the ribs to cook about an hour on a lower heat so they become more tender. And we don't want any flare-ups, so we're gonna put these Kona mats on the on the um, grill. So we could control flare-ups and keep it needed for everyone, you know? These uh, mats, you're supposed to be able to take up and wash, but we got the ribs right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them right on top of the Kona mat. There it is. Put the bone end down first, and we're going to cook it like that. We're going to cook it like this for 15 minutes. All right, you know, I've never done this before, and I'm, it's an experiment. I've never even really tried them before, never even really tasted them before. But I see, I've heard of them, it's called potato skewers. And I'm going to be grilling up some potatoes, and I got some smaller potatoes, not large potatoes because you want to use smaller potatoes for this and we're going to be trying to make a nice potato skewer to, uh, to serve with our ribs of course the potatoes got wet because i put it in the same bag with the grill daddy which leaked you know it would be nice if the grill daddy actually held the water so you could get the steam on the grill but no it sucks because it sucked so we're going to try to make these potato skewers potato skewers so what we're going to do is we're going to cut the potatoes. We're going to cut these potatoes. And we're going to cut them in like chunks so we can skewer them. Skewer the potatoes. Oops, that's a little too thin. But you know what? That's not too bad. I got I to get better at skewering my potatoes. And we're going to make a nice little grilled potato alongside of our ribs. Da 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 da. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. da da. And we'll take a bamboo skewer. Bamboo skewer. Take the bamboo skewer. And stab the potato. You know, it might be better if I actually stab the potato first and then cut. I'll see how that works on the next one. You see, that's what I do. You do it. We do it. Tanks cooks. We. We experiment. We we uh, learn by trial and error. If and you if you put it on the skewer first, how would you cut it? Hmm. Good question. I guess this was the best way. Well, there's a way to make a like a, a, a twisty potato. I just don't think I have that skill. Let me see. Skewer potatoes. This one should be cut a little bit better. I thought I brought my paring knife out. Apparently I didn't. I brought this knife out. Skew potatoes. Skewed potatoes. Out a little bit. Da, 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 da. Dee, dee, dee. All right. That's one skewer of potato. 
never tried this before, never eaten this before. So I'll see how my these uh, skewered ribs come out. And you know, I'm gonna try new recipes. That's why I like grilling, and I'm gonna be doing more tanks cooks. I know you guys like the tanks cooks. Of course, if I get my subscribers up to 25,000, I'll be doing live streams once a week. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the skewers in this plastic bag. I'm gonna put a little of olive oil in here. Of course, Jenko olive oil, the quality family brand. Everyone always loves the Jenko olive oil. Let's put that in the bag. And we'll put, of course, our favorite spice accent. We'll throw a little garlic on there. Of course, the garlic it doesn't open, right? A little extra hot pepper. some habanero some black pepper is this coming out? Oh, yeah, there it is. and of course some salt what we'll do is we'll put it in the bag and let it soak in here for about 20 minutes. Shake it up so everything gets coated a little bit. La 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 la. Don't get stabbed by the, the skewer, otherwise you'll be skewered too. There it is. All right, let's see how these ribs are looking. And uh, put our first little coating of barbecue sauce on it. Bucky's barbecue sauce. So let's get some Bucky's barbecue sauce on here. Yeah, that's nice. I like this bottle, squirt bottle. Ooh. Brush it on. Brush it on. All right. Ooh. Hot. But we're looking good. Looking pretty good so far. Here we go. All right, we'll check in on these ribs again in another 30 minutes. All right, this has been cooking now about 45 minutes, so we're gonna put these potatoes in. And this corner grill, I don't like that. It's charred up, what the fuck? These corner grills were not supposed to happen. What did I do wrong? Do you want me to tell you? Yes. I think the temperature might be too high. But I put it on the lowest range. Close the, close the grill. Ow, fuck. But I put it on the lowest range. Should I try to make the potatoes at least? Well, I'll try the potatoes. Meanwhile, I'll take this thing off. Huh? 
time to play the music. Time to play the music. I'm gonna let this settle. See if I could even. It's edible. I think this was a big tanks cook fail. Yeah, this isn't it. What did I do wrong? Well, I don't know how to do temperature control on this thing. You're supposed to roast potatoes at uh, for 30 minutes, but it's like the temperature's out of control, and well, you look done. First off, I should do this. Turn everything off. I think I've made, I think it's, it's, it's like this hotter than the sun over here. These actually look good. Did I destroy my Kona mats? At least the cleanup will be easy. Holy shit. I fucked it up. <laughs> this is, dude, this is gonna be called New Jersey Transit tank video. Because I was incompetent today. I fucked this up so royally. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I really thought I had it on the lowest setting. <laughs> I mean, the bone is even Ashes, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I blame Adam Adovino. He fucking lost the game for the Mets today. Now let's see how the roasted potatoes taste. Fire roasted potatoes. Well, these came out tremendously. What did I, f I mean, how did I fuck it up that bad? I really thought I had it on the lowest setting. <sighs> fuck. And there he went. Back to his apartment. Wiser. Not defeated, but not deter deterred. He shall one day return to grill ribs, learning from his mistake, learning how to actually cook ribs. It's a sad day, a bad day. Hopefully one day he'll enjoy a nice rack of ribs cooked in some.